Hey, what's up guys? This is where I'm at with the Ford Edge. Um, I went and passed the brake and lap inspection yesterday. In order to that, I needed this this piece that has the the license plate um, lights. Without that, it wouldn't pass. I took it once and they told me I needed that. So I went and got that as quick as possible. Didn't even paint it just to get that the car um, up and running. Got the tags. I'm still missing that spoiler on top so it should arrive anytime so for now i'm gonna remove that and get that painted to match the rest of the car i still got that dent right here that i'm gonna fix but um right now i'm just gonna fix that for now uh, like i told you i'm spending more money than i than i was thinking about spending on this car just for the fact that i didn't go and check it out in person and i'm missing all the plastics in the interior like i told you in my past videos so I'm taking this build um, pretty slowly. Um, um, so, but the good thing that it's running right now, so wife can start driving it and driving the, the kids around. So that's not my, my main priority. That one was my main priority. So that, one's, that one looks tight, man. I don't know about you guys, but that one looks nice. I just like I, I like the way that thing sits. It's not even lowered in anything, but that thing looks nice. So yeah, I'm gonna start removing that thing and start painting it. Okay, guys. So I removed that piece. I have it down here. So now I'm gonna start. I'm moving this black trim and that, that chrome accent right here too. Okay, so I got everything removed and it's ready to be sanded down. So we still have um, some paint left over from last time from the paint, I mean from the bumper. I think I got like three quarters of this um, can left of paint. Um, so that should be enough for the for the molding and we're using this time the same gun but with the smaller um, um container on top so let me let me um steal this up and load in the gun and i'll see you in a bit Okay guys, so that's the first coat. Let it, let it dry for 15 minutes and then apply the second coat. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the second coat. And we're gonna let it dry for another 15 20 minutes. Okay, guys, so we're gonna start laying the, the third coat, third and final. So here we go. Then apply the first coat of um, clear. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I emptied um, what was left on the gun into the can, and I still got like it's somewhere around here. So it's a little bit over over half a a can. So that should be more than enough for more than enough for the. Um, for the spoiler that goes on top 
So uh, I got enough paint. I got to paint also the the rear um handle. This handle. I'm gonna paint that too. And like I said, the, the, the spoiler on top. I'm just waiting for that to arrive. It should arrive black. So um. So yeah, um, if you got a little project that you need to um, do on your car, one quart of paint should be more than enough, depending on how much you gotta paint. Um, so let me clean the gun. I'm gonna clean it and add the clear that I used last time. The dupli color. It's that stuff. So yeah guys, let me clean the gun and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so the paint, I mean the gun is clean. The clear is inside. I'm um, just gonna cover it and spray the first coat. Okay guys, so this is the first coat of clear. So that was the first coat. I'm gonna let it dry and see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so it's dried. I'm gonna give it the second coat. So yeah, here we go, that's the second coat. Um, gonna let it dry again and give the third, the third coat. Yeah. Okay guys, so it's completely dry. I'm gonna give it the third coat, the third and final. Here we go. Okay guys, so it's dried out. I already installed that chrome trim on it, but I still gotta um, install that black trim on the back. But it looks good, man. I don't know what you guys think, but I like it. I still need to polish it, but for now, It looks all right. Got a good shine to it. It matches the paint, so I'm happy with it. Next time you guys see it, it's going to be installed on the Ford Edge. Hopefully I receive the, the um, spoiler soon. I'm going to let it dry and install. Well, it's dry now, but I'm going to let it completely dry maybe um, overnight. And then tomorrow install the back um, part of the, of the molding and then install it on the edge. So yeah, guys. Okay guys, I knew I was gonna, t I told you I was gonna wait for tomorrow to do that, but the the molding is dry and I had to s um, see how that thing looked on the car. Um, the paint matches perfect. Um, I kind of see that thing kind of funny. I don't know if it's where it is because you can see those lines match. Those lines match, but then I see that thing going in an angle. It goes lower right here, and then up. So I don't know. It looks kind of funny. I don't know if it's just me or if that's the way that thing is. Um, but other than that, it's 
getting there man little by little it's getting there I need to fix that too I don't like that I need to paint the handle too but anyways um, that's it for this video um, I'll make another video once I receive that I could paint that and, and the handle together and as soon as I start, I start getting um, parts I'll just keep on recording alright guys that's it let me know what you guys think about the paint, how everything turned out. Not everything, but how that molding turned out. Uh, leave it in the comments. And if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe. Got my dirty hand, guys. But hey, I'm always looking for something to do. Um, but right here in the corner, that icon, hit on it and subscribe. I need the thousand subscribers, guys. Alright, guys. See you in the next one.